Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I just ran to Rogers and I didn't bring my camera because I had no intentions of doing a tag along or showing you what I was buying because I seriously was going over there just because I didn't have a beef roast. I might have one in the freezer but I'm not sure but nothing was thawed and of all the different meats that I eat and I really love all kinds of meat. I think the beef roast is a must-have. I just like to slice my beef thin and just cook that in the pan. I also absolutely love and almost every meal has bacon ends in it. And then I love pork. You know, you know I love it all. So I went in there to get a roast and look what I came out with. I came out with three roasts because they're still on special this week. And look at this baby. I've never purchased anything like this in my life. <laughs> It's like I want to put a baby blanket on it and rock it to sleep. I'm going to be cutting this into portions and it won't take long that this entire thing will be devoured by me and my mother. My mother loves meat too. Instead of just showing you the meat I bought, I thought since I have something different here and since I haven't done it in a little bit, I'm going to just let you watch me cook my lunch. I shouldn't say just my lunch. I'm just making a fresh meat mix. I call it my loose meat and that usually lasts me like three days depending on how much I make. So I just thought you might want to come and see. So let's head on over to the counter. I am in great danger of my camera right here slipping off the edge, so if I suddenly scream, you know why. <laughs> the first thing I'm going to do is just cut this up and prepare it for freezing. And this is just over nine pounds, so if I wanted to make nine pieces of a pound each, but I mean, I'm just going to cut pieces, but I know this is going to want to spill out here. I'm going to go to the sink and let this drain. Okay, this is seriously disgusting, but I love it. I'm just going to put this all on a plate, and I will wrap each individual piece and freeze. Okay, I'm going to keep this piece here for today. The rest will get frozen. I just wrap each section in a little fold-over baggie, and then all the little baggies get put into a, another bigger food storage bag. So I'm going to, since this board is already porky, I'm going to be cutting this now to put in my pan with butter. This is a fattier piece, which will be yummies. So I just cut different various slices, or you can, you know, make smaller pieces. So I am just putting this piece of butter in this pan, and I'm just going to put the burner on high for a little bit and let this melt. I'm going to add this meat, then I'm going to wash up, and I'm going to cut some beef. Okay, my butter was melted, and I just threw the pork in, and I didn't have my camera on when I was doing that, <laughs> so I'm showing you what I did. And I'm just going to, you know, leave this on high for just a few and stir it around, and then I'm going to be turning it down to like seven and letting it cook while I clean up this mess and, and cut my beef. This is what it looks like, and I'm um, just turning it down to seven. I'm actually going to do some bacon ends next. Let's see. How about all that? And this. I have this. And I just use tongs to stir it all up. Now for the beef. This is just a shoulder oven pot roast. Oh, let's cut a hunk like this. This I will not be freezing because I will certainly be eating all of this within the next two days. This is just going to go into a, a bag and right back in the refrigerator. I don't eat the cord. Now I have this, and I will just stir that up a little bit, and I'm going to just leave it like, I have it down to six now. I'm just going to let that cook a little bit, then I'll be adding some ground beef. At this point, I'm going to cover it. I can change the angle of my camera now. Where's my tongs? You are free to add salt if you want. I just personally choose not to, especially with the bacon in there. 
I know it's not pretty. Fuel does not have to be pretty. This is just a way to feed my body. It's not a beauty pageant. I'm just going to cover that and I'm just going to let this sit here for like maybe 10 minutes. Okay, you can tell there's a lot of juice in there. I don't always cook my meat like this. Sometimes I just do it on a hot pan with just some butter and I just flip it a few times, like if I'm making a smaller batch because I, you know, I just like it more of the more fried, I should say, than like boiled. But when I'm making a big batch, I I boil it like this, simmer it like this, and then during the day, I'll usually add something else to it. Like tomorrow, I just took a chicken, a rotisserie chicken out of the freezer. So I'll probably have that, and then I'll warm some of this up with it. Or I might just take some more fresh slices of beef and add this to it. This is just like my, my side dish. Okay, let's add some ground beef. Bought this yesterday at Walmart. And look, I'm just going to squeeze out a pound. How disgusting, really, it is. I understand how people think eating meat is disgusting because I agree, but I love it. Now, generally, I buy ground beef with more fat. This is 93% lean, only 7% fat. But since I cook it with bacon and butter and all that, I'm getting enough fat. When you eat this way, you want all the nice animal fats that you can get, even saturated. The cover back on. Just let that continue to simmer for maybe another 10 minutes. It's been about 10 minutes. I'm just going to go ahead and turn some of this over. Break up the ground beef a little bit more. Give that about another five and it should be ready. All right, this is more than ready. I am turning it off. Look at all that loveliness. Oh my goodness. Now I'm just going to get a plate. I eat out of a pie plate because I like some of this nice broth in my plate. And then I'll show you what I end up with. There's my pie plate, freshly washed. Now since I don't have a main course, <laughs> I took a rotisserie chicken out of the freezer, and boy, if that was thawed, I'd have a nice breast right there. But since I don't have that, see, I'm going to be going through this meat fast, because it's like the main course. Good, good. Oops. Some of my delicious broth. Each time I reheat some, I add a little bit of water and more butter. Last night, I cooked five eggs. I don't know, like 11.30 or so, and I could only eat four, so I am putting the leftover egg in my meal. And it's cold, but it's going to warm up nicely in there. And I like to put a little bit more butter, just because. Let's uh, put a nice hunk of butter right there and let that melt. And that is what I have for lunch today.